Hey everybody, it's Craster Reborns. I am here doing something that I promised myself I would not do for the next few months as we are getting ready to move. And that is a box opening. <sighs> yes, I promised myself that uh, since we're getting ready to move that I wouldn't open any babies, I wouldn't buy any babies until after we moved. But I just couldn't resist this one. This is a sculpt that I've always wanted to have and um, by an artist I don't have in my collection that I've always wanted to have. But it's very hard to find. It's sold out, um, I think, uh, probably a year or so ago. And so it's very difficult to find this sculpt. And I found it at a, a price that I could afford and I was like, I just snapped it right up. So first of all, I just want to show you around and show you why I am not getting any more babies. That's everything in this room pretty much except for the furniture all packed up and ready to go. And you can see down the hall we've got boxes stacked up ready to be packed. So this is one more thing to be packed. But um, my birthday is coming up. It's kind of a, a combination Christmas birthday baby. Um, so let's get to it. And of course I've packed my tripod. So. I have to do this with, with, with one-handed. Oh, oh, I don't want you guys to see that. So it looks like, well, we'll show that at the end. And let's go over here. Oh, a little Christmas hat. How cute is that? This baby came as a boy, and I'll probably leave him as a boy. So diapers. Oh, that's a really cute one. And another little white hat. Love hats. Oh, came with some nice new clothes. <coughs> this one says future all-star. Oh, looks like my battery is getting low. <laughs> that's the other thing I can't find. Is any batteries? Of course. They've probably been packed. I'm amazed I even found my camcorder. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. It's kind of um, quilted. And it's got little foxes, I think. I think they're foxes. <coughs> it's very cute. Right. Oh. Sorry, guys, if you can't see well. Oh, little gray stripey socks. And more little woodland creatures. Oop, it's connected. <clears throat> A little onesie. And pants with a bear on the back. And love you. It says love you dearly. Wow, this is a really nice set. And another pair of striped pants. Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry. Just looking at what's coming next. So I didn't realize this sculpt came with a belly plate, which is super cool. I don't have very many dolls that do. But most of you, I think, looking at the belly plate, will be able to figure out which one of a couple of different sculpts this might be. So, wow. I had forgotten that this came with a belly plate. This is from, it was made by, hang on, uh, try to get the paperwork out of here for the name of the nursery, Forever Mind Babies, Rochelle Dyson. She's from Arizona. <coughs> and there he is. Oh, wrapped up with a little blue pacifier. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really not used to doing this. Oh, that's so cute. I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm sure I'm all over the place. Doing, ah, doing everything wrong when it comes to doing a box opening. Everything I hate. Camera all over the place. <coughs> not prepared. <laughs> all that stuff. Okay, I think the head's at this end. So there's the cute blanket, very nice fuzzy blanket, and I love it when there's an actual ribbon that's tying up and not a 
I don't know. Paper ribbon, but ribbon ribbon. Even though he's oh no, okay, he's got a diaper on his head. Thank goodness. <clears throat> he's all dressed for Christmas. Oh my goodness. Those curly toes. It's looking like on the camera that they're much, much darker than his skin, but they're not, which is, which is good. It's the bottom of his foot. It's the lighting. Now I know you reborn artists and collectors are going to be able to figure out based on down here based on the hands I'm sure this is my favorite hand it was very nicely textured and one little fist all right here's his head wrapped in a diaper oh great one-handed <laughs> one-handed guys oh. One. Right. Oh, and he's wrapped up inside there too. Let's see if I can try to take two things off at once. This artist is like me. I like to um, wrap my babies, my Rudy babies, up with a plastic bag because I find that really helps their hair um, travel better, so it doesn't get all all mushed. So this artist did the same thing. And here he is. Here he is. This is the Knox Sculpt by Laurelly Eagles. And look at this hair. I have actually not had a doll with rooted hair in a while. Um, I've just fell in love with the painted hair because it's so easy care. But I saw this, I thought the artist did <coughs> a fabulous job with that light newborn rooting. And I love how she did two tones. I don't know if you can tell, but on the side, like right here where my thumb is, is blonde, and then this is brown. And she did that over here, too. I love that. I love his hair. 